All right, another ethanol uh, myth busting video tonight. And uh, I did a burn video back in August. I had non oxy, non ethanol, E0, whatever you want to call it. I had regular gas and I had E85. And I want to do a clear one of that. And I want to do some more explanation on how and why they burn certain ways. <clears throat> so tonight I have non oxy, non ethanol here, regular gas, which is in your vehicle right now up to 10% ethanol. I have E30, which is 30% ethanol. I have E50, which is 50% ethanol. And I have E85, which is 85% ethanol. Now, most of, the time, most of my videos, I do it and then I explain it. I want to explain something that I want you to watch very, very importantly. I want you to watch the difference between the non-ethanol and the regular gas. Okay, there's going to be quite a bit of difference. I want you to know every difference. Most of those differences will be blamed on the 10% ethanol in regular gas. That's why I have these other ones, okay? These other ones will prove that it's not ethanol. I really, really want you to watch the difference between the non-oxy and the regular gas. Okay, that's the most important part of this video. So we'll light them up and we will let them burn for five minutes. <laughs> Both of the fuels on the left have quite a bit of black smoke. The E30 has a little bit. The E50, eh, just a hair. And the E85 on the right is, uh, I mean, as clean as you can be. I can't see anything from here. Notice the size of the flame. And the, uh, how fast it's burning that will, would portray to temperature as well in the engine. Notice how regular gas has got a very, very intense flame compared to non ethanol. But yet, as you raise the amount of ethanol from left to right, that flame is diminished. Ethanol burns much cooler. It is shown here. NASCAR and IndyCar loves ethanol fuels. So what is every modded car guy? I said it in my last video and it is clearly shown here once again. Even the E30 that has some regular gas blended with it has a higher and more flame than the non-ethanol. The regular gas has a much higher flame and people will tell you that ethanol burns hotter. Well, the two flames on the right definitely destroy that claim. Regular gas, when you take out the ethanol, is very, very different than non-ethanol. That explains the price. That explains the color difference I'll point out in a little bit. That explains the performance difference that these people are... Slight performance difference that these people are having.
another thing I want to note, you may not be able to see it until I go close up with the camera, but right now there's more emissions coming from the regular gasoline than there is the non-ethanol fuel. Ethanol is cleaner. Why is there more gas or more emissions from regular gasoline? What's, what's causing more emissions? That is not adding up. E85, I can't see any smoke. E50 has a little bit. E30, just a hair more. Much different than the other two to the left, though. All right, it's been five minutes. Let's put it out and see what we got. Over, side by side. Ethanol is much cleaner. E85 has absolutely no carbon. And like I pointed out in the beginning, look at the difference between regular gas and non-ethanol. The regular gas is actually dirtier. 10% ethanol in it. it should have been a little bit cleaner if people think that it's the same fuel. That's a very important thing that I'm going to point out a little bit more here as we go along. Ethanol definitely helps emissions, cleans it up drastically. The E85, there is not one speck of black on it whatsoever. E30 in the middle there. Regular gas is the dirtiest. Non ethanol is pretty close to E30 emission wise. So, now's the fun part. Figure out why. These fuels here, non ethanol fuel, regular gasoline, E85. These are from my soap test the other day. Look at the color difference. If they're just taking out ethanol, that's clear, from regular gasoline to get to non ethanol, what's all the yellow stuff? That adds up perfectly with my burn test I just did. My fuel soap test from the other day, ethanol did not hurt the fuel lines at all. It's the same as that one. It's similar to the other one. And the non-ethanol one is the only one that's hurt on here. Ethanol does not varnish it either. I have pictures of that. But E0 is actually varnished the worst. So, now, I want to tell you what's in regular gasoline. I told you this in my last video, but I want to point out again. I want you to go to Google, I want you to type in Flint Hills Resources, MSDS, Triple S Petroleum, PDF, click on it, scroll down, same numbers as I'll read to you. This is what's in your regular gasoline. It was reformulated in the late 90s to clean up emissions. <laughs> it didn't show there. To clean up emissions, these are chemical industry byproducts, perfect way to pitch them out in regular gasoline. Up to 15% xylene, up to 15% toluene up to 10% ethanol, up to 7% hexane, up to 3% trimethylbenzene, up to 2.3% benzene, up to 2% ethylbenzene, and up to 1% of the next three here, cyclohexane, naphthalene, and cumming. <coughs> now, them are general numbers. They're not legal limits. The companies have tested legal limits. They've been over them. Okay, they blame ethanol for the problems. They're not. Uh, I call them, or a lot of people call them BTEX additives. Benzene, toluene, ethyl benzene, and xylene. Okay, those are the most problematic. I really want you to go to your mechanic, your manufacturer, anything. I want you to go to them and say, hey, "Is this motor, fuel lines, fuel tank, BTEX approved?" 
I hope they know what it is, and they will probably tell you, no, it's not BTEX approved. When it comes to running and buildup, non-ethanol has much less of these. Okay, that explains that difference. I'm not quite sure why non-ethanol varnished more in my test. Maybe the 10% in regular gasoline helps stop the varnishing. I think it's impossible for them to make a fuel without ethanol that does not varnish from petroleum. So this, there's, the oil companies, gas companies, they are tricking you with regular gas. They're pumping trash into it to get rid of it, and they'll blame it on ethanol. Okay? Why do you think big oil is fighting E15 hand and fist? EPA approved and tested for 2001 and newer. There's been over 400 million miles by consumers on E15 since it debuted in 2012. Not one issue. NASCAR has raced 10 million miles on E15. Not one issue. They love it. Now, this poor product here, I absolutely, absolutely obliterated last video. Okay? The varnishing is done. That's over. I have pictures of that. Another claim here, prevent ethanol problems, carbon. Absolutely destroyed that claim. It's done. Okay? It's not carbon, or it's not ethanol that causes carbon problems. It's BTEX trash. Okay? This one here, ethanol shield. Uh, combustion cool technology reduces engine heat due to ethanol blended fuels. Really? That's why E85 and E50 had a much smaller flame. People with exhaust gas temperature sensors will tell you that ethanol burns cooler. Okay? The reasons all these claims are out here is because oil companies have tricked thousands and thousands of people with regular gasoline that's so much more different than non-ethanol, okay? So all these claims that you hear, they can be done easily with tests like mine. There's a big reason the kids are not doing this in school, okay? I really wanted you to watch Pump the Movie on Netflix or borrow the DVD from me. It explains it beautifully how government and big oil go hand in hand. Okay, the people have the power, the yellow gas ha fuel handle takes away this power. Okay, watch Pump the Movie, share this, I hope you enjoyed it. Another claim made by mechanics and snake oil companies, completely obliterated. Thank you.